Hello friends, thank you so much for honoring my invitation. Thank you, I am grateful. Um, today, we are going to be seeing something in this program. We are going to, I want to bring out a topic in this program. Like, I know some people don't know, some know, some people don't know, and I don't know how many percent don't know and how many percent uh, know. But as for me, it's something I never knew until we did it in school. And I, I was kind of really surprised and I did research on it and I discovered that uh, it's very important to know these things. Now, we are going to be looking at, so many of us operate on the social media, we, 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 we message people on WhatsApp, we message people on Messenger, Instagram, Twitter, and we don't even know that there are rules governing it. Yes, we don't even know that there are rules governing it. But I want to tell you today that w whatever you're doing on social media uh, and whatever social media platform you're using, I want to tell you that there are rules governing it. So someone can easily report you and maybe your account is closed for you not to operate maybe on Facebook again or even on Instagram or Twitter. Now, what is this thing called? It is called netiquette i don't know if you have heard about netiquette before i myself i didn't know like i said i didn't know about it until i did it in school and please if you are watching me right now i'll i would like you to comment oh. welcome Yes, yeah, so, um, like I was saying, I will just give a little time so others can join us. If you are watching me right now, please, you really have to comment. Please, let me know at least you, 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 you were part of this program. So, before I continue, I would like us to pray as usual. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for making us to see this day, this beautiful day. Thank you, ancient of days, for all the good things and marvelous things you have done in our life. Thank you, O King of Glory, because you say in your word that whatever happens, we should keep thanking you. Oh Lord, we pray, oh God, as we start this program, let it be successful. Let it be a successful one. Father, I pray that let many people understand what I'm saying. Let uh, 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 anybody that is watching this program right now i pray that may they get may they understand whatever that i am saying and may it be a life-changing program to each and everyone watching this program right now thank you jehovah shama for i know you have done it for us in jesus name we pray amen um like i was saying what the topic of today is netiquette i don't know if you know about netiquette um, but I want us to really look into it. I want us to see what netiquette is. Either I call it netiquette or internet etiquette. So they are simply internet rules. So as you are operating on social media, whatever platform you are operating on, just know there are rules governing your behavior on the internet. Yes, yeah, so that rule is what we call netiquette. So I've written something here. So what is netiquette? This is a word that stands for how to behave on social media. So netiquette refers to a set of rules relating to manner and behavior over any computer network. So if you are if you are operating over any computer network, you should be aware that there are rules governing your behavior, telling you the do and the don'ts. Yes, so what you are supposed to do on the internet and what you are not supposed to do on the internet. I've written about um, I've written about seven rules, so I'm going to read them out. Uh, I believe you get something from it. So, uh, this netiquette, this netiquette help guides us on how to operate or on how to deal with people on social media. But before I read this rule, I want us to talk about something. So many people are on social media. I have, I, I have witnessed that you talk to people anyhow. You talk to people rudely. You don't want people to talk to you rudely, but you are so rude to people. You insult people 
on social media because simply because maybe you don't know them you 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 you, you talk to people anyhow you quarrel you but you should be aware that there are rules governing if that person could report you could report your account and you your account will be closed down and you will not be able to come online or come on facebook except you use a different person's name to create your facebook account or any other uh, 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 social media platform twitter instagram except you use any other person's uh, uh, name to create all those stuffs yes so so many people have witnessed it so many people on uh, your on social media so i've posted a video about women's day there was a time i posted a video i don't know if the person is watching right now i posted a video about women's day and i don't know what i did to this person this person insulted me this person has never met me before this person has never met me before but i'm kind of really shocked the kind of things the person is saying about me well, i don't even like seriously i don't even go out so many people that know my friends that know me they know i don't go out if i don't have something important to go out there all these things where people say you go out to let let me use pg you go out to joker gosh it's been long i even i can't even remember when so i don't even know where this person made me at that the person was saying all these silly things about me all these nasty things about me but i really don't care i really don't care because if you're innocent there is nothing to worry about so other people like some of my family members came defending me and some of my friends that know me came defending me and i was i was like oh my god how can you be saying such and when i i involved the person privately on on messenger i involved the person privately on messenger and i asked him that oh gosh why are you insulting me have i ever met you before and the person was like you know you, are, you have never met me but this and this and this is going on and you're talking about women's day my god if i don't do a video about women's day go on youtube you're going to see people doing video about women's i was not the only one doing this video about women's day that this guy was talking to me so rude i don't know uh he doesn't know me anyway and his only sorry his only problem was that i was doing a video about women's day because this 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 if you're a Cameroonian, i don't want to go all out telling saying things but i believe if you're smart enough you should understand what i'm talking about so to him he was like how can you be doing a video about women am i the one to stop what is happening or what i don't get if i don't do a video about women's day another person would definitely do this video so that that's just it so i could actually report that person's account because and and screenshot and show proof because why are you insulting me why are you insult let me <laughs> why i don't know if you have watched this funny video why were me not here why are you shouting upon me I could have asked, <laughs> I could have even asked that person that question. I mean, you don't know me, so why are you insulting me? Why are you shouting on me? Why are you shouting upon me? <laughs> it's funny, right? But I'm just trying to make a point that this person has no right insulting me on social media. You don't know me, so how dare you talk to me? And the thing is, even when this person said those things, I got angry, but I laughed because that's who I am. I don't know why I'll go on social media and stupefy myself, uh, uh, talking to people. You don't know. See, this world is a very small place. This world, like two weeks ago, I met somebody I could never had imagined that I would meet because this somebody, uh, but let's say I, if some people watching now know where I work, so there is a particular person that always comes to buy, and the person is like this kind of mad customers that we used to have so but at the same time i was controlling whatever the person comes to buy what do you want i give you and when the person is trying to like bring problem like if i say i don't have change yeah i'm selling i sell to you and you give me money i have to give you 200 francs i say i don't have change i will be like what am i the one to look for the change of what what are people doing this place people cannot go out there and look for change this and that this and that and do you know sometimes even when you see people when you go somewhere and see people selling and sometimes it's not everybody that is patient it's not everybody that can control maybe his or her anger when the person is angry it's not everybody that can really control him or herself yeah so but when this person i don't know what happened i can just say it's god because truly now i'm we are very where i am right now i'm shocked that when i i i look for a house and on coming that person was my neighbor can you imagine this person that and i didn't like the guy at all seriously because the guy is always bringing trouble so as god does his thing 
I was always putting my, my myself under control so I should not get that angry and talk back at him. So, uh, but I was really shocked when I came the first. And do you know what happened? When I wasn't feeling fine, it was this person. This person I met at the shop and did not know I would ever meet him again. Coming, uh, uh, getting another room to transfer where I am now. The person was my next door neighbor. And at the same time when I was sick, this person was the one that bought that was able to become my family is not yet. This person was the one that actually uh, went out and bought make medicines for me. So this world is, I'm just saying, this world is a very small place. This world is a very small place. So this netiquette, this uh, internet etiquette rule, is not just for this, it's not just for social media, it's not just for Facebook, WhatsApp, Messenger, or what. it's also good for you. It's also good for you, it's good for me, it's good for everybody. Because the world is a very small place. You don't know where you meet somebody with, uh, in future. You don't know where you meet someone. You might, you might talk to people rudely, and the next day you're dying, and that person is the only person to save your life. And you know the way some people are, they, they keep things in their heart. So the person will be like, okay, die alone. After all, you insulted me, you talk rudely to me. So why should I help you? So you have to be very careful. Yes. Before I go detail into this netiquette rules, I want to really emphasize on this, that you have to be really careful the way you talk to people. You have to be careful the way you look down on people. So you think because you are up, see, nothing that goes up everything that goes up will come down that's the simple truth if you think because you're up there you're rich you're from a rich family you're beautiful you're handsome you 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 are complete you have your hands you have your leg and you, you are looking down on people that don't have you're looking down on the poor you're carrying yourself and you're especially girls and you're just like yeah are you god the way you're carrying yourself are you the one that created yourself that you are looking down on people it's very very bad i'm telling you it's very very bad you have to be very careful because you don't know where you meet so see somebody you are maturing today you don't even know where you meet that person you might you might travel somewhere and looking for a job maybe you just meet a sister to that person you were insulting a sister to that person you were looking down on and maybe the job the person is supposed to this person that i looked down on is supposed to say okay this person is a good person and just the fact that the person knows you somewhere we just tell the sister or the brother please don't employ this person and maybe you're desperately in need of that job now because of what you did in the past see whatever happens in the past whatever happened in the it will haunt us in the future let nobody deceive you now i i i believe so much in i love experience to be sincere and honest with you i love to go through experience i love to go because even even if i say i don't like to go through pains right it's part of life it's part of life you have to go through it but let it not kill you don't allow it to kill you if you go through an experience and it doesn't kill you then you have to it makes you stronger yes it is good because it makes you stronger don't feel bad about anything whatever that does not kill you makes you stronger so what i'm trying to say is i like to go through experience yes but please don't be let it not be that experience that you are the cause of that experience and that experience is going to haunt you in future nobody should deceive you that yeah it's true the future is spotless the past is over or whatsoever but let me tell you remember what the bible says he will punish you your generation today i think the fourth generation god will punish so now if you worship idol like the bible says if you worship idols if my let's say my forefathers worship idol now whatever is going to affect me it's going to affect me today maybe the third to the fourth generation yes that is to tell you that the past can't haunt you haunt your future not i'm not saying that experience is bad and because sometimes we are not even the cause of what we are going through but i'm just trying to say is that live your life be very careful the way you live your life you might die today and your children will suffer for it that's a simple truth your children will pay for the sins your children and when you are there you are the cause of all those things god forbid anybody that cause anything eh as far as i'm concerned god please whether it's my father or it's my mother whoever that cause let it on them i was not I was not there. Ah, uh, though whatever I'm saying doesn't really matter because the way God does His thing, He doesn't even consult you before talking. But me, I'm just making a small prayer. See, I'm I want I'm trying to be very careful the way I live my life, so it should not it should not haunt me. I'm not saying I'm perfect. Don't get me wrong. 
don't get me wrong i'm not saying i'm perfect what i'm just trying to say is i try each and every day to live my life um the way it will at least the, if you want your yeah, try right if you want your try to live right live the life you want your child to live some of you some of you mothers fathers you wake up today oh you like your you some of them even like their children that when they were in primary school they were taking first whereas you know you were always taking the last in class whereas you know you were not first of all concentrating in school but today i sit you are telling your children that in those days when i was in primary school i used to take first when you know they are all lies in those days when i was writing you see i used to concentrate when you know if you want your, your child the kind of life you want your child to live right live the life be an example of the kind of life you want your child to live yes don't live a life that tomorrow you die as the bible says they will want to the fourth generation god is going to punish the fourth generation and your children will be suffering whereas you are dead and you are the cause of all those things so this all this boils down to what we are talking here about netiquette so the word is netiquette so i'm going to i don't know let me spare the word again so you you understand netiquette Yeah, so that's how if you look where everything read, if you see, that's how they spell it, netiquette. It's called internet etiquette. You can actually go on Google and you go search it. So what I'm just trying to say is that you should be aware that there are rules governing behavior on social media. So now I wrote some points down. I wrote some points down. So let me read it out. So do you know it is very wrong to write? Or to someone using all capital letters I don't know if some of you are aware of this you know it's very wrong to like for example we are chatting on whatsapp or messenger and you want to write uh, how are you and you put it all in caps do you know it's very wrong it is very very wrong we call it shouting you can as well Google search we call it shouting if you write to somebody using or capital if you tell me how are you if you are chatting on messenger we are chatting on facebook we are chatting on instagram or wherever no. whatever social media no. platform is and you you are you you are asking how i am you are asking how i am uh, uh saying how are you all caps it's very wrong it's very wrong so it is called shouting shouting so that's that's that if they ask you what do you understand by shouting shouting simply means writing to somebody that you are discussing with somebody and you write it in all caps please you have to wait please you have you write it in all caps so that is what we call shouting you can google search it like i said yes so don't write to somebody using all caps and when i talk of caps i mean capital letters so you want to write how are you right uh, H capital H capital O capital capital W sorry there give space capital A capital R capital E then you give space capital U capital O capital uh, sorry capital Y uh, capital Y capital O capital U which is how are you in all caps is very wrong please it is called shouting shouting you are yelling at me why are you yelling at me if you write to me in all caps I have the right to ask you why are you yelling at me why are you shouting <laughs> why are you shouting upon me <laughs> so why are you shouting I have the right to ask you that question on social media uh, whatever platform we are operating on i have the right to ask why you are yelling at me because you are writing it in all caps it's very wrong please if that is what you have been doing please try to adjust somebody that is very uh educated someone that is educated will see that will just look at you as if you don't know what you are doing as if you're 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 an illiterate because i know some of you watching this video now you want to argue there's no need arguing go on google and google search ask anybody that is educated they will tell you that they know it's when you write to somebody in all capital it that is very wrong and it is termed shouting so i hope you know if they ask you what is shouting it's simply uh, uh, messaging somebody uh, using all caps using the word putting the words in capital letters so it's very wrong don't do that again if that's what you have been doing so let's go uh, you write to someone using caps, it is called shouting. Yes, it means you're yelling at that person. Your discussion with um your dis your discussion will be termed shouting at that person because you are writing in all capital letter. 
so that is just it so let's go to the next let i want to read the seven rules of netiquette please i hope if i ask you what netiquette i'm seeing everybody watching this video i hope if i ask you what netiquette is or internet etiquette you will know what it means it simply means rules governing behavior or manners on social media or any computer network so that is what netiquette means i've spelled it there if you check in the message you see everything great you see i've spelled it there so you don't you don't uh, confuse we get confused with the spelling so if somebody asks what netiquette is third person there are simply rules governing behavior and manners on social media or any computer network so i wrote seven rules of netiquette one remember the human that's the first rule what do you understand by remember the human we are all humans so if you're talking to me don't talk to me like i'm a pig don't talk to me like i'm a dog don't talk to me like i'm I'm an animal remember we are all human so that's the first rule of netiquette the first rule is remember the human which means remember that we are all humans i should remember that you are a human you should know that i'm a human or anybody operating on a social media is a human so don't talk to people like they are animals because they are not oh uh, that's just it about the rule number one rule number two adhere to to the same standards of behavior online that you will follow in real life so rule number two is adhere to the same standards of behavior online that you follow in real life so what does it mean the rule number two simply means you should the same behavior that you you, you present in real life the same behavior that you present in real life present that behavior present that same behavior on the internet but do it under control if you know your behavior is out of control like you talk to people in a, a, a very rude way you have to control yes but present yourself don't come and tell people you are you're a millionaire whether you are poor you're living in a caraboha see be very proud of yourself be very very proud of yourself don't i'm not saying you should be proud of yourself being a lazy person we have a group we have a group call no food for a lazy man if you're really interested you search it on facebook no no food for a lazy man you search it you are going to to get to join the group we have a group that is called no food for a lazy man i'm not saying you should be proud that you are living in a caribou house and you're just lazy about it and you're so proud about it that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying that as far as you you're struggling to make it in life be proud of yourself and be proud of the fact that you are where you are where you are because of god and you keep pushing in order to make it in life don't give up don't 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 give up and don't be too lazy i don't want to say be too lazy no don't even be lazy at all but don't use any other person's image don't try to like i used to hear that this sorry sorry to the nigerians the actress or movie star sorry to 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 uh, uh what i'm going to say now no offense but i've watched a couple of videos how some some say the kind of life that's showing on social media is not the kind of life you see pictures on facebook is not the same life they are living some people go and rent cars they'll come and snap and show some people the dresses they put on melt you look that's it's just a dress that maybe it's being given to them because of an occasion they they go out there they rent the dress they put on and they come back they take pictures with it they come back they give back those dresses sometimes uh these people uh, uh give this dress to them for free and just for a day they go they go do their program come back and give back the dress and you're there killing yourself you want to be like this person you want to be like Messi johnson you want to be like auntie umotola you want to be like auntie iniedo you want to be this you don't even know that the kind of dresses they are wearing those dresses they want to be like cc you want to be like tasha you want to be like Messi or whatsoever you don't even know that those dresses they are wearing on those occasions are not even their dresses dresses they went and borrow dresses they went and eh, 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 a rented dresses they just gave them for free for a day they snap it and put it on social and you're killing yourself you want to be this you want to die and you go all out giving yourself to 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 men because you want to buy dresses go like sleeping with men because you want to buy dresses to be like them i'm sorry for you the type of life you want to copy is not even their real life like a like emanuela said 
the Manuela said, this is not my real face. means there's another face. <laughs> so the kind of life they are presenting on social media is not even the life they are living in real life. So you go all out doing crazy things just to buy dresses, just to buy shoes, just to buy Brazilian hair, just to buy human hair and show off on social media. And tomorrow your own debt you cannot pay because of, what do I say? My grandmother say, sure, sure. <laughs> because of sure, sure. So please, what this is exactly what the netiquette is telling rule number two is telling us. The kind of life you are living in real life, present that life on social media. Don't come and say your father owned this, your father owned that. Where people are living in a carabo house. It's too bad. Don't do that. Okay, let's go to rule number three. Know where you are in cyberspace. Yes, so you should give, uh, you should give, or uh, 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 understand that you're on cyberspace. So you should actually control the way you do things. Yes, you should actually control the way you do things. So that is just it. So let's for rule number four: respect other people's time and bandwidth. Yes, and bandwidth. Sorry, respect other people's time and bandwidth. What does it mean? See respect people's time if somebody tell you that please i'm busy like the, i get these messages all the time on messenger people will are, are, are you serious so now because we are friends on facebook and so what so i will not these chinese people i hope some chinese people are even watching now these chinese people and indian people please you people should be very uh, uh i don't want to sound as if i'm treating anybody why is my body to even treating somebody but at least i'm just begging you people People should just reduce the way you go about this thing. Calling people on Messenger. Now, okay, we are friends. I might come on Facebook and I see if you have sent me a friend request. And I accept. We can actually talk on deals. I'm a YouTuber. I'm, I, I make contents for YouTube. I upload content on YouTube. So I get to talk to anybody. I see the person can help me. I, I have friends in Kenya, Uganda that we have never met, but we are helping each other to grow. Friends in Nigeria, Ghana, we are helping each other to grow. Even in those Indian and uh, Pakistan and, and very respectful set of people. But just, I mean, some set of Indian and Chinese people, I really don't understand what is wrong with them upstairs. Somebody, you'll be friends with somebody on Facebook and the person will not allow you to rest on Messenger. Can you imagine last time i was doing a live show like this somebody indian man was calling me kept on calling me i've never met this man before it's too bad if you're and if you're from india if you're from chinese or pakistan or whatsoever and you have that kind of behavior i want to plead with you you have to change you have to this room but this room for say respect other people's time if you text me i said i'm busy what's the problem why are you calling me I'm sleeping in the night, my phone is ringing, I can't do my assignment, I'm schooling online, I can't do my assignment, I can't write my exams because my phone is on, my data has to be on because sometimes my my laptop has problem. I need to use my phone. But at that time, I can't even use my phone because I can't have uh, 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 the time to myself because Indian people are calling me everywhere, even those I've not accepted their friend request, they are calling me. Indians, please, people should change. You people have, you people, you, you better respect netiquette. Oh, I'm going to report your account. And unless you keep changing your account name. Yes, because if you keep calling, calling me, I'm going to meet up with other people. We are going to report your account and you will be banned from Facebook. And your account is going to be closed down. And you only have to use another person's name to create another account. Yes, so please, people should stop all this. Thing. If you text me, we must not meet to be friends. can still be friends online. We don't know the day, like I said, the world is small. You don't know when you can meet somebody. So, uh, you don't know. You can help me, I can help you. Yes. It's not just about relationship. I don't understand. These Indian people, you call somebody. I'm not picking. But you start sending me immoral videos, immoral pictures. It's too bad. Respect my time. If you text me, I said I'm busy. Respect my time. Like, like internet etiquette say, or netiquette, as it says in rule number four respect other people's time if you take somebody the person says she the person is busy the person is doing something online you can meet people online and they're very busy like me i can be online but i'm studying it doesn't mean because i'm you see me online i'm chatting with people so if you text me and say please we talk later why are you calling me why are you calling me all the time indian people you call somebody one two three four it's like people don't have work you people don't have anything to do you keep calling people you call a, a girls you show you show uh um 
you show immoral pictures to, to them. I don't want to start using some terms. If you send immoral pictures, immoral videos, please. If you are watching me right now, you are in you are from India and you are my friend on Facebook, you would respect yourself. Yes, because most of the time what I do is I block you. I don't have time for start telling you to stop. I don't have that time to start telling you to, to stop sending me immoral pictures or immoral videos. When you do that to me, I block you. So I advise other people, if anybody is disturbing you and you don't want, block the person. It's your phone. You bought your phone with your money. Nobody has to control you over your phone. So that's rule number four. Rule number five, make yourself look good online. Yes. Make yourself look good online. Please. All these people that you come, girls, please, people should be very careful. This is a little advice I want to give to you. Most of the times, the pictures you're seeing on Facebook are not actually the people. The picture you see on Facebook, where you see pictures on Facebook, and maybe you see a girl being exposed, and the pictures are on Facebook, and you think it's that girl that snapped that picture and sent on Facebook. At most of the time, it's not the girl. This is what happened. Most of the time, some boy, a boy can ask you out and you refuse, right? The boy goes and create another account. I've witnessed that. So I'm talking out of experience. I've witnessed somebody do that to uh, 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 a lady. The, now, a guy is asking you, the guy might even be your neighbor, your friend. You never can tell. The guy is asking you out, you refuse. The guy goes and create a picture the, uh, and create an, a Facebook account. The profile picture shows somebody that is in the United States. Pictures, or better still, the picture might show these Indian people, um, any other person, but out of your country where you are. Now, when you when you open the picture, you're going to see, you're not even going to see that your friend. Where he's the one that created an account. Now, he start texting you and telling you that he's going to give you money. You should snap your naked pictures and send to him. Now, you snap those pictures and send. Getting up the next morning, you see your naked pictures on Facebook. Please, girls. Don't send your nude picture to anybody for your own good. Most of the time, you're not the one that posts those pictures, but another person. You begin to wonder who posts this picture. Most of the time, there are boys that you know, but you don't know they are the ones. They ask you how you refuse. They create accounts using different people's pictures. They text you and tell you they, they are interested in you. You are beautiful because I know most girls, they, are, they go mad. They go mad when people tell them you are beautiful. I like, see... Look at yourself in the mirror and know who you are. Nobody should deceive you. If I'm, I like I'm talking to you right now. I'm seeing myself, yeah, on this camera, and I know the kind of person I am. Nobody will come and deceive me that I look like Omotola. Nobody will come and deceive me that I'm beautiful like Omotola. I'm beautiful like Genevi, and I'll begin to kick, kick, kick open my teeth and start sending naked pictures, right? If yeah, you can actually send some people send sex this picture, but the kind of picture I'm talking about here are pictures that you are completely naked. That's the kind of picture I'm talking about. Yeah, so I'm because I'm not going to control your the kind of picture you're going to send to your friends, but I'm just saying that sending your naked pictures to somebody is very wrong. Don't do that. If you don't want to see your pictures on Facebook, don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. Seriously. So you know yourself. They will text you and tell you you're very beautiful. Oh, I've never seen a girl as beautiful as you are. Oh, your eyes. Oh, your this. Oh, your body. This and that. And you're there. You open your teeth. Kick, 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 kick. You snap picture and you send naked. Now, the next morning you get up, you see your pictures with another account. Because you not see it with that his account. He has created like three or four accounts. And the account he's using to chat with you, he, he gets that picture. And then he uses a different account to post now the picture on Facebook and they begin to laugh at you. Your family is on social media. They see your pictures. They begin to ask you questions. You say you're not the one that posts the question. No, the picture, no one is going to believe you oh, and so on and so forth. Because I don't believe that any sensible girl will even post a picture showing even her face. Do you get? So th there are these guys that create this Facebook account and put and put uh, these white men pictures and when you open, they, uh, they, they will talk to you and tell you they are from they are from United States, they are from Europe, they are from this. And now you go through the Facebook profile, the pictures, you just see somebody that is from there. Now, there's no way you can suspect anybody because that guy's picture is not even there. So that is what they do. So you have to be very careful. So this is why they say make yourself look good online. So make yourself good look, look good online. First of all, by knowing the type of pictures you send to your friends. You, you might want to look good. You might want to look good online, but at the same time, 
you might want to look good online but at the same time now you're another person will tarnish your image by sending your nude pictures on facebook which is something normally you cannot do but now because you send those pictures to that person because the person deceive you i'm going to send you money and there was a time somebody uh, this visit the person i think it's from india i should send my naked pictures he's going to send me a uh, money i should uh, in western union i should send my account details do you know what i did i just blocked the person there was a time one of them even texted 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 text, text. okay then the person called me the person called me and finally i picked the call do you know what happened when i picked that call the person was completely naked someone please reduce your voice when the person called me i was when i answered the call i was the person was completely naked you get the person was completely eugene are back the person was completely naked so i really i really oh uh, sorry for that distraction sorry for the distraction uh so when i answered when i answered the the, the call thank you mommy thank you thank you mother care i see you're watching my mother sweet mother <laughs> so when i answered the call the person was completely naked you get so these Indian people, you have to be very careful with them. Don't send your... That's it. You should have respect for yourself. Do you get... Have respect for yourself. Nobody should deceive you. What is money over your naked pictures? What is money over... What do you want? What do you want that you go all out sending your naked picture to a man? That at the end of the day, your family is on social media, your husband to be is on social media, and at the end of the day, your boyfriend or your fiance break up with you, and you say, "Oh, I don't know what I did." Are you serious? If you are the one that sees those naked pictures on Facebook, will you still continue with that relationship? Because truly, I will not. How how did your picture? Because some of you are like that. You're you're like this. You're dating somebody, and at the same time, you're dating somebody out of the country, and the only person you can be. And the, and the only way, sorry, and the only way you can somehow be intimate with that person is by sending it. Because there is nobody that will send you money. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Don't deceive yourself. See, me, I've been in a situation. Don't deceive. Nobody should tell you that a man will give you money for nothing. If you don't have, if you don't have, if you're young, you're still growing up, growing, growing up. If you don't have, please, education is your priority. Your education, see, is your, your education is your husband. Many women are suffering in their marital home today because they don't have anywhere to go. In the morning, Maggie, in the night, salt, in the afternoon, sugar. Even when you see shoes on the way you want to buy, you cannot buy. Why? Job you don't have. Homework you don't have. Education you don't have. You don't have anything. Now, when you were younger, growing up, what were you doing? What were you doing that you could not even if you could not even do hairdressing, tailoring? What were you doing as a young girl when you were growing up? Now you are really, really frustrated, and the only thing you could do is to go out with men in order to get money. What I'm just trying to say is that if you're a young girl and your family is poor, and at least the family is struggling to give you education, my dear sisters, please focus on your education. I'm telling you, it's going to help you. Don't think a man will tell you, give you money, and at the end of the day, the man will just come and be, <laughs> be smiling with you because you are Queen Elizabeth. They just have to walk and come and give you. Are you serious? Ask even your brothers if they have ever given 1,000 francs to a girl, except maybe it's a family friend, and there is no way or something like that. But any other thing, ask any of your brothers if they have ever given any money to any girl, let's say from 10,000 upward, 10,000, 20,000, 10, if they have ever given any money to any girl for nothing, they might not want to tell you because they are, but at least ask even a friend that is a boy. If he or she has ever given money to a boy, to a girl, sorry, for nothing, nobody should deceive you. They, they give you money to buy this, to buy that, I think it's for nothing. What I'm just trying to say is that nobody should live abroad. If you're dating somebody here, please believe in that person, right? If you have come of age and you're dating somebody that you will soon get married, believe in that person if you're if if you're doing something put effort in that thing and you definitely the two of you will make it don't be dating somebody here and you're dating somebody in the united states you're dating somebody in um in europe you're just the name you are not even dating because you like the person it's just a name as far as the person is the is bush follower you're just dating by the bush follower you're dating by the name not the man 
So I'm just giving you advice. Nobody will stay in the United States and send you 20,000 francs. That the person is asking you. And then at the next day, the person will not ask for your naked picture. That person will ask for those pictures. So if you want to stay safe, be contented with what you have and work hard and you are going to get it. Yes. So that is rule. That's rule number five. Rule number six, share expert knowledge. Share expert knowledge. Some of you, you don't have anything to offer on social media. It's just to come on social media and somebody posts and you're open your teeth, kiki, 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 or you insult people. The rule number six of netiquette is saying share expert knowledge. If you know something that can help somebody, if you know even, let's say, for example, if you know how to calculate menstrual cycle, if you know how to, uh, 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 to, to, if you know how to take care of yourself and you really want some people to know, if you know how to, if you're a mother and you know how to do this, um, like some people they get married and they don't really they will have maybe three children they want to have the child again they maybe after five years they want to have a child again if you know about all those things come and share it yeah share it on that is what they are, this rule number six is saying saying share expand knowledge if you know how to make chairs if you know how to to do a uh, hair if you know how to do makeup if you know how to do dresses if you know how to do even face mask <laughs> okay if you whatever you know that you know can help somebody rule number six is saying share expert knowledge like i was saying just now one chinese man is calling me like just like what i was saying the person just almost uh, 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 disturbed my program because the person was calling so that's what i'm talking about in fact let's go back to our discussion let's not mind them so what i was just trying to say is that if you know anything right that can help anybody on social media please share i might be here i know about like this netiquette etiquette uh internet etiquette so i'm i might know some people don't know because i myself i did not know i knew this but last year when i i, I school online and we did it in a course called unif 1101 so that's where i know about this internet rules i didn't know so that's why I'm sharing with you. So if you also know something that can help me or any other person, share it on social media and help others. So that is what rule number uh, six is talking about. Yes, that's what rule number six is talking about. Share expert knowledge. So if you know anything, even if you, uh, how, how do I put it? This makeup artist, this hairdressers these tellers if you know anything at all that is that can help somebody if you can even advise people on how to eh, 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 during this whole that is this quarantine if you know something that somebody can sit in the house and be doing that can help the person if you know how to cook something you can bring it online let's learn me i like someone like me i really i don't know how to cook arrow why i don't first of all i don't like arrow I don't know what, but I would like to learn because what if I get married to someone that loves to eat arrow? I will, I will have to cook arrow. So if I see a program that I are teaching how to cook arrow, I will follow it and learn because it's going to help me. So that is what I'm talking about. If you know how to cook anything and there is a way you can even do a video and share it online, it's good. That is what this netiquette rule number six is talking about. Share expert knowledge. Now let's go to rule number seven and the last rule. Help keep flame wars under control. Help keep flame wars under control. What does this mean? This simply means that if you, you're on social media and somebody wants to bring problem, be, be calm, be still. If possible, go offline. Yes, go offline and just be calm. Like the Bible says, just be calm. If you're angry, be calm. Be very careful the way you, you, you talk when you're angry right so if you if room by seven is saying if you're on on let's say for example if you're on facebook instagram or twitter and somebody is trying to bring problems somebody is trying to create a fight somebody is trying to bring a query be calm and if there is a way avoid that person don't don't allow don't allow your anger to to, to bring to make the two of you to uh, uh, argue insult each other because to me truly and i'm talking to you i'm talking to myself I'm talking to you. I'm talking to myself. If if somebody is insulting me on uh, on if I'm calling with somebody on social media and if somebody is insulting me on social media and I'm talking back at that person, it makes no difference. So uh, what sometimes what I do is I just ignore. Though sometimes to control yourself is kind of really when somebody insults you to control yourself, 
it's not it's not going to be easy like like the, the the story i told you when i i did a video about women's day one man i don't know insulted me until was one of my family members and friends that even tried to fight for me because i was kind of really confused i don't know you so why are you shouting on me why are you shouting upon me <laughs> oh so that is just it so if anybody is bringing problems to you on social media ignore that person let the person be the fool yes let the person empty vessels make the loudest noise so if anybody's bringing that's what netiquette rules number seven is saying if anybody is bringing you problem on social media avoid that person stay away from that person if possible block that person because don't allow the person to spoil your day so that is what these rules are all about so i hope at least you have gotten something and you know what netiquette is you can either call it netiquette, call it naked netiquette or you call it internet etiquette I also I believe you know what shouting is for so for those that are coming now shouting simply means somebody is texting you using capital letters all the sentence in, is capital letters so to the, the person that means if the person texts you using capital letters it means that person is shouting at you that person is yelling at you and you have the right to report that person's account they are internet rules yeah so please if you are one of those people that you text people using or typing in all capital letters i want to tell you today it's very wrong it is called shouting or you're yelling at that person so always try to maybe you can start this thing how are you you can start with capital h or o w that's much more you follow now with small letters so you don't write all in capital letters because it is bad it is wrong yes so that is all so let me read what i have here you must be very careful with the kind of message you put out there you're talking to the whole world and even to the to your generation you are talking to the whole world and you're talking to your generation now remember if whatever you put on social media my friend let me tell you 10 years ago let me say five let me say five years ago if you had posted something like these ladies that you post your naked pictures on facebook now my friend how do you think your children will feel because you are talking to the whole world you're talking to your generation how do you feel your child because when your child is about maybe 20 or 25 years, let's say in the university your child will begin to use android phones and some children now are uh, are even using android phone before they even reach universities when the child goes on the internet and see her mother's naked picture my dear how do you think your children will feel how do you think your children will feel please Whatever you're doing on social media, you're talking to the whole world and you're talking to your family, your generation, generation, please. So you have to be very careful whatever message you're sending out there on social media. And even to your generation. So don't, don't, uh, you don't want to do something that your children will see them tomorrow and feel bad. Just be careful. So this is the end of my program. Thank you so much for watching. So that is all I have for today. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy that my colleague, my sweet mother, eh, Pavin, Madam Pavin, we call her Madam Pavin. I'm so happy that you were part of this program. I'm so happy that you watched this program. I'm so happy, Abeto Mo. Thank you for watching. I'm so happy. Oh, sir, sir King, sir King and Lee. Thank you so much for watching. And thanks to everybody that have not commented. I know some people watch this video after before a comment. Thank you so much, Auntie Marie. Thank you for watching my program. Thank you to each and everyone that have not seen the name there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for reacting. Thank you for coming to watch the program. So this is the end of our program. And I want you to go home with two things on your head. Netiquette. The meaning of netiquette and the meaning of shouting. So I hope you have learned something. Thank you so much and see you in the next program so if you want to know more about my programs i will always put the, the my page my facebook page is everything great and we have a facebook group we have a facebook group called no food for a lazy man i then encourage laziness because me i'm not lazy i know myself i'm not lazy even if i'm i'm, I'm as broke or as what i always try as much as possible to keep pushing until i reach there so our our we have a group called no food for a lazy man and we also have a then, then this page is known as everything great and each time we are going to be having live programs 
if you want to see our live program always go to the everything great page check so on events when you check on events you're going to see the next coming events thank you so much for watching thank you claudia brown thank you and see you in the next program